Yes, I'm originally from uh, Turkey. I, uh, I studied uh, petroleum engineering in the, in the Middle East Technical University in, in Ankara, Turkey. And, and uh, by the time when I finished my undergraduate degree as a petroleum engineering, it was uh, more or less the same situation we have right now the, the, because of the downturn in the oil industry. There was not many jobs, although I wanted to work as a petroleum engineer. So I became, became an ex accidental uh, academic. So I went to the uh, United States. Uh, I ended up in Louisiana State University, which in Baton Rouge. Then after working in Turkey for several years, um, from 1990 to 1998, I went back to North America. It, this was the uh, University of Tulsa. By then, um, I was already married with, uh, with two kids. And after working in the, Oklahoma for two years, then I, I got this opportunity to work in the University of Alberta. Well, I've been pretty consistent in my research work and um, stay mostly related to things related to uh, problems with, uh, of drilling engineering side of the petroleum engineering and mostly uh, fluid mechanic applications. I was just kind of converted in a way that my pleasure, like what I enjoyed over the years, okay, what I liked it most, that I would say, okay, and then the, uh, the first thing, of obviously, the, the how the program developed, the petroleum engineering program developed over the years, and, you know, when I started here, it was, we were only down to, only three faculty here, and then at some point down to two faculties, and now, um, over the years, I was uh, able to you know, being able to be part of that effort that now that we brought this program. We have nine faculty now, and we're very successful um, uh, research and uh, teaching program and um, accredited petroleum engineering program in Canada. Other than that, uh, I think being able to uh, work with these young engineers and the, the, the students and reach out and contribute to their professional development, I think that gave me also biggest uh, pleasure and I really enjoyed it. I would put it as my one of the biggest achievements, I would say, kind of, I feel like I'm gifted uh, to, to have a chance to, opportunity to, to reach out and influence at least uh, this way or one way or the other. So that gave me the, the great pleasure and then uh, it feels, you know, feel like a successful uh, uh, academician. That's pretty much uh, relates to my, my other life. And uh, uh, again, I, I've been working with a very young people and, uh, and as, a, as a coach, a soccer coach. And I've been there uh, many years. I've been like, almost like a provincial licensed coach and uh, starting from scratch again, you know, we have developed a very uh, successful community the team all the way from six years age to 18 years old and they were successful uh, provincial champions and then together with I'm an active soccer player as well so it's uh, uh, we are very very proud of that uh, I think it's just a thing that maybe you don't I don't necessarily talk about in my resume you know, it's, it's a passion you know in our families everybody plays soccer including my wife so that's good.